guys welcome back to my channel today's video is a little bit more casual i am having some technical difficulties with my lights and i still wanted to get some videos up for you guys so i decided to just film it this way and this shouldn't be too long of a video anyway so i'm gonna get started so as some of you might know if you follow me on snapchat and if you watch my vlogs i did start working out with a trainer and i've been taking my workouts and my diet very seriously um i just want to get into really good shape i want to feel good and i want to look good this summer so i had a lot of trouble finding a good protein shake for myself because i think i have a really strong intolerance to like soy and whey everything i was trying was making my stomach hurt so much like literally i, I could feel my insides hurting even if i just took a couple sips i just I had a stomach ache and I had to just, I was out of commission. Like I just had to sit down or lay down until the pain would go away. I finally found a protein shake that I love. It tastes good and it's been working for me and I wanted to show you guys. And the protein shake that I'm talking about is from Garden of Life and it's called Raw Fit and I get it in the vanilla flavor. So I'm gonna insert a clip right here and show you guys how I prepare my protein shake. My protein shake is super easy to make. The first thing I'm gonna need is some almond milk. If you want, you can use regular milk or you can use water, but I've been getting this Almond Breeze almond milk in the vanilla flavor and I get the unsweetened one. And then of course, you're gonna need your protein powder and this one is from Garden of Life. It's called Raw Fit and this is also vanilla flavored. This protein powder in particular is dairy and soy free. It's also gluten free. So if those things are important for you, then I think you would love this. And it's also vegan. I like to add eight ounces of the almond milk for my shake. My blender has measurements on the sides, but you can also get a measuring cup. It's the equivalent of one cup, eight ounces. And then I add one scoop of the protein powder and just blend it all up. And then after a few minutes, your shake is ready to be drank, and that's it. I'm gonna answer some questions now because you guys left a bunch of questions on IG, and I wanna make sure to answer each and every one of those. Some of them are similar, but I am going to try and get through all of them. How many times a day do I drink my protein shake? I only drink the protein shake once a day and I mainly drink it Monday through Saturday. I work out Monday through Friday so I drink it immediately after my workout and on Saturdays my trainer just recommended that I drink it one more time on the weekend just to keep rebuilding and repairing your muscles. Shake. I take my shake within 30 minutes of my workout so as soon as i'm done with the gym i head straight home and i prepare my protein shake and drink it immediately and the reason why it's so important to take it within 30 minutes is because after you finish working out you want to take a protein shake so that it helps repair and rebuild your muscles because you've been working so hard on them and you don't want it to go to waste so it's really good to take a protein shake as soon as possible after your workout and then a lot of you guys were asking if the protein shake if i use it as a meal replacement i don't consider it a meal replacement because i guess it could be but so usually i'll have my protein shake and it keeps me pretty full for like two hours and then i'll have breakfast like i'll have oatmeal or a banana or something like that so it does keep me pretty full but i don't drink it with the intention of that being my only meal someone also asked you put fruits and veggies in it or do you just drink it with water or milk personally right now i haven't added any fruits or vegetables to it and i've been making it with almond milk i I'm trying to cut dairy out completely well as much as i can anyways um i haven't actually been having dairy so i choose to make it with almond milk but if you guys don't want to do that you can make it with regular milk or you can make it with water personally i think it's more filling with the almond milk and it also tastes a lot better with the almond milk i think in the future if i knew one day like i wasn't gonna have time to have breakfast soon right after my shake i would definitely consider adding some fruits and veggies to make it a lot more filling but right now i just add the protein mix powder and my almond milk and that's it but you can definitely add other things if you want to make that your meal someone asked does the shake make the stomach feel weird like detox teas like in other words you need to run to the bathroom after you drink it not at all the protein shake is not a detox whatsoever you guys like it just tastes like you're drinking a shake like it tastes really good to me it's not a detox it's not gonna make you run to the bathroom 
Oh, and I forgot to mention, this one in particular is for weight loss. It's a high protein for weight loss, it says right here. It's gonna burn fat, it's gonna satisfy your hunger, fight cravings, all that good stuff. And it does come in different flavors. I've only tried the vanilla one. I'm like a vanilla kind of girl, so that's just the one that I keep buying. Have I lost any weight from drinking it or it's too soon still? I actually don't know if I've lost any weight. My goal for the month is to lose body fat percentage. So next week, I'm going to have my first weigh-in where we're going to see how I've improved, like measurements, weight, and body fat. So hopefully I have, but it's been three weeks exactly, and I feel really good, and I'm fitting into things that I wasn't fitting into before. Well, like my old clothes, I wasn't fitting into them before, and I'm starting to fit back into them. So I could see like some progress happening but i don't have any solid results yet to share with you guys but when i get my way next week i will definitely let you guys know someone also asked from one to ten how pleased are you with the results or just with the drink itself i definitely say it's a 10 plus i love how it tastes it doesn't make my stomach hurt because that was my main issue um and it definitely does keep me full if you are going to start taking a protein shake um if you want to use it as a meal replacement or if you want to take it after you work out the first week is definitely the hardest and then like eating wise and then after that it just becomes a habit and your stomach and your body just gets used to your new eating pattern like i get full right away now if, you, if i miss anything make sure to leave it in the comments below and i will definitely answer you guys but yeah i've been loving my protein shake and i will keep you guys posted with my results hopefully they're good especially because i'm putting it out here and you guys are going to be asking me how i'm doing so hopefully i have some good results and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.